Yeah, there are a lot of pictures I can't take, uh, that I haven't been able to take. Many. Um, I was talking about uh, two different situations. One where you, ha where you have permission to take pictures and one where you don't. So when you have permission to take pictures, sometimes there are pictures I can't take because it's, uh, you know, it's kind of indelicate and uh, l a little too invasive or, uh, or um, you know, I don't want to make fun of people who are, uh, you know, have problems, uh, you know, so I, 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 I hold myself back. But in the situation where I don't have permission, there are a lot of pictures that I don't take because I'm, uh, you know, people see me and I don't want them to see me and then I, then I think, okay, forget it or, uh, yeah. Well, you know, uh, people can't go on taking the same pictures uh, for, for the next uh, 2,000 years. Uh, the, the, they try different things and so on. Um, I personally found what I want to do, and I, I will continue doing it, and I, I don't follow what, uh, you know, I don't try to do what other people do. Um, and sometimes I, the things that a lot of other people do, I don't like that much. So, sometimes I like it a lot, but sometimes I, I don't. And um, sometimes, sometimes I'm bothered by by general trends, certain certain trends. Yeah, it, it, it means kind of like the spirit of the times. Yeah. Okay. 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 So, uh, you know, I think that um, I don't know, maybe 30 years or so ago, there was a reaction to uh, Cartier Bresson and uh, so on, that kind of photography. And uh, people started photographing things that were much more ordinary, in a, in a much more ordinary way, in, a, in, a, in what looked like a, a more careless way. You know what I mean? Not, not so well composed and so on, and not, not the particular decisive moment that uh, he was looking for. And uh, it was probably a good thing, because, you know, uh, you have to shake things up a little bit. And people, people like uh, Lee Friedlander, he was really a very good photographer and, and you know, often very funny. But he worked on the edge of of banal. You yeah. know, the, was it was it interesting or not interesting? Uh, just on the edge. Sometimes it went over the edge. Sometimes it uh, was. But not too much. But not yeah, but not too much. Okay, and um, <laughs> you know, a lot of that stuff was really great. But so um, the banal became very important. The problem with the banal is that it's banal. So, um, you know, after a while, if that becomes the, the new norm, uh, it's a big problem. Because, every, first of all, it's easy. No, no, it's not easy to, to do these very interesting pictures that are on the edge. That's not easy. But, but a lot of people just took it as, um, you know, the, 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 it's a new formula for taking pictures. You know, banality. Well, it gets pretty boring after a while, you yeah. know. Uh, that's why I, I say the, the problem with banal is, is that it's banal. Uh, okay, you know, I, you know, for a while it's a, it's an antidote to to another attitude, but after a while it becomes a bad habit. And uh, I'm also I have problems with things that are too easy, you know. And it's easier, it's easy to take pictures where, you know, I mean I see a lot of pictures where the guy pressed the button at a particular moment. But what if he pressed it a second before or a second after? If you can't see any difference, you say, well, wh why this and not this? Then what, what's the interest? Because then anyone can do that. And then, you know, any, you give uh, uh, 8 billion people in the world uh, cameras, they'll all, you know, there'll be so many pictures, we'll, you know, we'll go crazy. Uh, the, anything is okay, right? If you, you have to, okay, so I think often uh, th the people take pictures that are just not, not disciplined. You know, uh, it annoys me. Um, so, what else? Uh, people think of thinking uh, photography is art, and, and uh, the art being important, and so on. Um, I mean, I, I was thinking that when I, when I was young, I thought that art was a good way to, to meet girls and uh, you know to get, a, get take them to bed. Uh, you know, that 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 was a good reason to be an artist. Um, you know, it, 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 not, it, there's a difference between art and, and, and playing the, the artist. And I think a lot of people today play the artist. It's a, you know, a little annoying to me. Uh, not that 
photography can't be art, but uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be pretentious art. If you want to make a living out of photography, uh -huh. my advice would be to find something else instead. Making a living is not the only thing in life. Uh, you know, f uh, I was fortunate uh, to grow up at a time when uh, I, I didn't have any money, but it was okay. Now it's difficult not to have money. It's uh, people, uh, you know, I think young people worry a lot more, have more reason to worry now than when, that, when I, you know, I was, a, you know, I started out in photography uh, in the uh, late 60s. You know, you could, you could always f figure out a way, you know, you could drive a taxi or work in a restaurant. It was, you know, there was, you didn't have to worry about money so much. So uh, you were able to just kind of experiment and so on. And now I think it's a little harder. So, um, uh, the, you know, the idea of making a living is uh, it's scarier now than it was back then. Uh, Okay, but beyond, beyond that, uh, my advice would be just to um, look at a lot of pictures, uh, look at your own pictures, uh, and, you know, take pictures, look at them, um, try to, f you know, ch when you ch choosing pictures is very, very important and it's, a, and it's a very big piece of an education in photography, choosing. You choose pictures and then... You know, you see what you like and what you don't like, and then you then you you have to go w toward what you're really interested in, and and the choosing lets you start eliminating the things that you don't like. Because when you're young and you start taking pictures, you're doing a little of this and a little of that and a little of this, and you know, and you don't really it doesn't really add up to anything. So little by little, you have to get rid of the less important things, and you have to observe what you're doing yourself. I mean, this is my experience. You observe what you're doing, and then you're realizing what you really like. And that's, you want to get to what you really like. You have to choose when you take a picture, obviously, but you also have to choose after you've taken the picture. You know, you've taken 12 okay. pictures, which, okay. is the, which is the good one, if okay. any. Maybe none of them. You know, and, uh, yeah. you know, little by little, you narrow it down. And by, by doing that, you know, you, you, you're thinking about what, you know, what, what, what even if it's not even conscious, what, what are your criteria for choosing? Why, why this one and not this one? You know, and little by little, you, you create yourself out of that. You realize what, what, you, what you are really looking for.